Okay, guys, so in this class, we simply want to organize our project in regions. So because our project and code is getting really large, we need to start organizing them using regions, okay? So that things can actually be assessed much more easily, all right? So guys, let's just get right into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a region that will handle our click events, okay? So all these click event handlers, I want to put them in a region okay so here I'm going to create a new region I'm going to say hash region we call this region click event handlers so I'm going to scroll to the end of the click event list I'm going to add end region so the regions actually helps us in a very useful way so here we can fold this section, boom, and everything is so clean. So we need to create another region for maps and location services. So I'm going to say hash region. So I'm going to call this map and location services. So all of the methods that has to do with map and the rest of other stuff setting up our location service will be in this region, okay? Mm, okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Let's say end region. So now we can fold this section. Bam. So we're gonna create another region. I'm going to call this overrides, override method. And this ends here. Boom. So I can fold this region. So as you can see, everything becomes cleaner. So I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to put this at the S stream. So I'm going to put paste it at the end of, so I'm going to paste it here, okay, so we can fold it as well, we can copy this, and paste it here, under our map services, I'm going to create a new region, I'm going to call this trip configurations. I'm going to end region here. Boom. So guys, this is a very quick class that helped us to organize our code. So I think this is pretty organized compared to how it was earlier on. So this is just how to organize and arrange our projects using regions. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you in the next one.